In this session, we are going to return values from a dropdown, return the number of options from a dropdown, and check if we can select multiple options from a dropdown. Selenium provides the following methods to help us with a dropdown. First, select the option, all selected options, options, and is multiple. Our AUT will be select menu from this tools QA page. Do you see this standard multi-select box? When we inspect, it shows the select tag name and multiple. Multiple shows us that multiple options can be selected from this box. Let's verify it is multiple by using this car's ID value. I'm going to copy the URL, then go back to the IDE. Like most sessions, I have import statements written already for web driver, by class, and Chrome driver manager to help us save time. Plus, the browser has been set up for Chrome to be maximized. Now, let's go ahead and load the AUT by writing driver.git, pass in the URL. At this point, we have loaded our AUT. Let's also import the select class by writing from selenium dot web driver dot support dot UI. Now we import select. Go back to our next statement line and we're gonna find the dropdown by writing dropdown equals select. Within select, that's when we find the element by writing driver dot find element by ID. And we saw the ID value was cars. We can check drop down allows us to select multiple values using the is multiple method. This method returns true or false values. Let's print by writing print and wrapping drop down is multiple within the print built in function. Let's also add a message like drop, drop down <laughs> is multiple. I'm going to also add a sleep statement because it helps us to see the application when our script is executing. And this here is cars, but let me put that inside quotes. Now let's run. The console should return true. As expected, we see true in the dropdown because it is a multiple select dropdown box. Now, let's select multiple values by writing. You know what, first, let's look at the DOM. Notice the DOM has a value option and all of the values are in lowercase. Volvo, Saab, Opel, and Audi. Now, in PyCharm, all we need to do is write drop down dot select value. How about three of the four values? So I'm going to copy and paste two more times, and we write the values. Volvo, Saab, and Audi. Got to spell it right. Bingo. Also, let's scroll the page before selecting the value. Driver.execute script. Now we're about to pass in the X and Y coordinates after writing window.scroll. And the value for X is zero. The value for Y is 1250. Now let's run and see if three of the four options are selected. Bingo, we see all three selected in the box. In addition to selecting more than one option, we can return all of the selected options by writing drop down dot all selected options, then assign it to a variable like all cars. 
let's print the values by writing print all selected cars. And I'm going to skip a line and write a for loop for a car in all cars. Colon. Print. And I'm going to tab. And within this print statement, I'm going to write car.text. Recall from a previous session, text will write us the value. So I'm using this right now so we can see the values of the cars. Also, we can return the first selected option. The next method is drop down dot first selected option and assign it to first underscore call. Plus, we're going to print the value by writing first selected car then first car dot text so we can see the value now let's run bingo the console shows all selected cars are Volvo Saab and Audi with the first car selected as Volvo Recall the application had four options. Let's verify the number of options by going back to our IDE and writing drop down dot options. Then store the value in number underscore of cars and we're going to print by writing print total number of cars this time i'm going to pass in the len function which is built into python and within that function we pass in number of cars because that is the variable that's getting the options now let's run The console should return four as the number of options. Bingo. We see total number of cars as four. That's it for getting and returning values from a dropdown. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next session.